Hi, my name is Giselle Brito, and I'm one of the partners at Silver Brito PLLC. We're a law firm in South Florida. Um, we do homeowners insurance, first party property insurance, um, and we also do real estate law, um, which in very um, simple terms means that we make sure that insurance companies pay the, what they're supposed to pay to homeowners and um, service providers, people that do repairs at homes. Um, and also we represent new buyers and sellers um, in real estate transactions. So we met uh, Doug initially through BNI, uh, Business Networking Institute. Uh, we're a member of BNI and he was also a member of BNI. Um, and we were going through um, a transition in our business where we were growing really quickly, um, a, a little bit quicker than we anticipated also. And so we found ourselves in need of guidance, like desperately. When it came to the business side, uh, we, we knew how to do the cases, we knew the substance part, but the business side was taking a toll on us. Um, and I owned the, the firm with my husband, Steven Silverberg. And um, it was taking a toll, not only in our business, but in our personal life. Um, and I think we called Doug um, just out of the blue and said, we need help. Um, I think it was literally just like that. Just, we need help desperately. Um, and he, almost didn't ask any other question. He was just like, let's meet, let's talk, let's sit down. Um, and I think in less than a week, we were sitting down with him and Jody um, and discussing what they did, how they could help us. Um, and I don't think I gave it a second thought. I, was, I looked at Steven and I was like, where do I sign? What do I do? <laughs> how do we get this? <laughs> we started working with Jody and Doug two and a half years ago. Um, so in March of 2018, it's crazy how time flies. Um, but we have accomplished tremendous amount of things. When we started with Doug and Jody, it was, we had a team of, I believe it was about less than 10 people. I think it was maybe seven or eight. We're currently a team of almost 25. We're about to make our, I think, our 24th hire um, to add our 24th team member. Um, so we have grown tremendously. Um, we have put in place, I can't even count the amount of systems and structures um, in place. We have um, a corporate structure uh, within our firm. So we have, we've created that and we have revamped that structure through time. Um, we have accomplished so many goals um, with the help of Jody and Doug. I mean, the, the quarterly sessions that we have um, are the growth club, the quarterly growth clubs are incredibly helpful. Um, they keep us in check. Um, us being attorneys, we're not the greatest planners, um, and we tend to just be very detailed and not see a bigger picture. And so Doug and Jody have constantly kept, um, part of our eye on the bigger picture, um, which I think is, has been incredibly helpful, um, in our business. And in the time that we've been with them, we've not only grown in um, team members, but our, our business has been very um, financially successful as well uh, in the two and a half years that we've been working with them. So the numbers that they gave us at that initial meeting regarding revenue and income and things like that seem really far-fetched at first, um, but they've, they've actually surpassed the numbers that they gave us. So it's been really amazing. In the law firm, it's just the two of us partners. It's my husband, so it's my life partner as well. Um, and our office manager 
is my sister. And so we have a very interesting work dynamic. Um, and we have multiple family members involved in the firm. So having Doug has been like having a mediator in those difficult times where, you know, family gets involved with the, the business side and having that mediator has been life-saving, I would say, um, relationship saving when it comes to maintaining the boundaries, maintaining the professionalism, um, maintaining focus. Um, cause when you work with family, sometimes the focus gets mixed in. Um, so that has been invaluable really. Um, to give you a, a, a very specific instance about, I want to say like a year ago, um, we were having a lot of difficulty communicating the three of us. And I remember sitting in my car and getting a message from Steven regarding one issue and getting a message from my sister regarding a different, the same issue, but like different opinions. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting in my car and saying, I am not mediating this. And I called Doug on the spot and I was like, Doug, I need an emergency session ASAP. This is what's happening. And I cannot mediate because how can I mediate between my husband and my sister? So can you see us? And, and he did not hesitate. He was like, I'm in my calendar. I can meet you guys today at 3 p.m. Um, and we got together and I dragged both of them in there and uh, we mediated the issue and we really got a lot of stuff out that really had nothing to do with the actual situation. Um, so that communication and that environment that they create where you feel safe enough to communicate difficult things um, has been invaluable. I don't, I don't think we, have, we would have been here had it not been for them. I was probably one of the biggest skepticals of business coaching. It, it felt like therapy, um, which is not something that I've been very open to um, in my life. However, Doug said something in our initial meeting that just immediately caught my attention. I'm very sports oriented. I played tennis in college. Um, my whole family is like very sport oriented. Um, and he said, everyone has a coach, even the best players in the world. They have a coach. No one things that they need a coach to have a business. How is it any different? You know, you guys are lawyers. You're not business owners. Even if you went to business school, which I didn't, I avoided it with a passion. Um, <laughs> you know, even if you do have that business knowledge, you, that's not what you do. Um, so that changed my whole perspective on it. And all of a sudden I was able to listen and I was open to listening and that made a huge difference. So what I would say to someone that is considering business coaching, I would say remove the label, just remove it. Um, and think of it as help someone that you have there to guide you, to bounce ideas off of, uh, to advise you, um, to listen to you. Sometimes in the business, as a business owner, it can be lonely because you're responsible for everybody else, but you know you have needs too and you have worries too and um, concerns and pains. And, you know, so it's really, it ends up being therapeutic. Um, I, I, I won't lie about that. Um, sometimes it feels like wearing like couples therapy 
with Steven when we, you know, since it's also my husband. Um, but removing the label allowed me to be open to it and to really understand that this exists in every other avenue of our lives, everything. Um, what makes us think that we can do business without one? <laughs>